Yes, hi everyone. This is Larry with my 1952 Hudson Hornet. This video, I wanted to show you a little bit uh, about lead filling. What I'm going to do now, this is the old uh, piece that fit right here. And you can see that it had a lot of holes. So what I've done is I've made a new piece and welded it in, ground all the welds down. And where the seam was for the uh, piece here, you can see there's a seam right around the edge here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to lead fill this. Now, in doing lead filling, the first thing we use is what's called a tinning butter. And it comes out like a paste. And I'll just show you that right now. And what I want to do is just go over the edges. There's a spot right here too I needed to uh, touch. But I wanted to go over the edges with this tinning butter. And what this tinning butter does is when you heat it up and get rid of whatever moisture or chemicals are inside, it leaves uh, a very silvery uh, stuff behind. So there, what I've got is that. And this, by the way, is is the lead bar that I'm gonna be using. Now, uh, they say it's lead, but it's a composite. There's actually no lead in these anymore. They used to have lead years ago. This is also called um, beeswax. Now, the beeswax is for the paddle. Now, you heat the beeswax up till it gets kind of runny, and then you dip your paddle in here, and that beeswax on this paddle prevents the lead from sticking to this. So, what I am using is I am just using a little uh, butane torch. I'm going and heating up this just a little bit. I'm going to heat up my beeswax again. This is simply so that the um, the lead won't stick to the paddle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this tinning butter. And you see it's kind of uh, bubbling and this sort of stuff. So it's removing some of the moisture. And what I want to do is I want to clean this up with a paper towel. And you'll see that it leaves silver behind, a little bit of lead behind. It's tin. That's what's called tinning. And it's kind of a flux, which allows the uh, lead to stick to the metal. Right here, there's a little itty bitty hole. If I don't deal with, uh, it'll cause me all sorts of aggravation in the future. Now I'm trying not to put too much heat into this panel because uh, I can already see the panel beginning to expand with uh, the heat. <clears throat> so let's go over here to this part. This is new, this is old, as far as the panels go. So again, heating the tinning butter up so that I can leave a little bit of silver tin on here to make it easier for the lead to stick to. Some people use a propane torch. I've seen people use uh, oxyacetylene torches. But I find that with a smaller torch, I can uh, make sure the heat doesn't go all over in the panel. I can control it a little better. <clears throat> the idea is to get the panel very, very clean. <clears throat> so after I uh, had welded the panel in and I was happy with it, I have a what's called a vacuum sandblaster, and I went over the seams and I sandblasted it. And that got out any of the uh, 
welding residue and this sort of stuff. Just gives you a cleaner panel. That way, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the lead will stick better. We have a little bit of dirt in here. But we can probably cover that with the lead. I'm just going to go over this again just to make sure. All righty. A little bit more over here. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to get my uh, air gun, blow this panel off, and, and cool the panel down a little bit. Okay, there we go. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this air gun, turn that off, and I'm just going to gently cool this down until the panel gets nice and cool to the touch. So now I can touch that. So the whole trick to body work of this nature is to make sure that your panel stays as cool as possible. So put some things away here. We'll start here again with the butane torch. Light it up, keep it going. And now we're going to melt some of this lead onto the panel here. And then I will spread it around with the uh, paddle. But let's get some on first. It's like my flame is dying here, but it should be enough to keep going here. And then I go figure. Okay. I gotta go put some more in. Sorry about that. Start again. There we go. A little bigger flame. Let's try this again. And I'm just dabbing this lead bar along the seam. Really what I'm doing is all I really want to do is I want to seal the seam. Now there's some various ways you can do that. But I thought I would use lead just because it's what I want to do. Now, the way I'm doing this, I could just leave it and sand it down. But I'll spread it around with a paddle so that you can see kind of well, that works. Now this is easier because it's on a horizontal plane. If I was on a vertical plane, you know, we're doing the side of the vehicle. You just move a little quicker. So you get this to, con to the consistency of butter. And you can see how easy it is to push around. Now all I really want to do is to just get the seam done where the two pieces have joined together. And then what I will do is I will come back with a file and I'll file this down smooth file it, sand it, and then once I'm happy with uh, the, way it, the way it looks, I will then come back with some short strand fiberglass filler and uh, really smooth it all out, 
make it look pretty, and you will never know that it had ever been repaired. So now over here, and a hole, And I'm just pushing this lead around, making it as flat as I want to. Okay. You know what? That's not too bad. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to cool that panel down with some air. too much but I'll just show you this is what's called a vixen file it's got these real sharp teeth and how I will take that lead down as I will begin to file this off okay. as far as I'll go today uh, but you can see that we're already beginning to shave off some of the lead that's here and that's how I get it down and then once I get it down to a certain point I will then uh, maybe take a die grinder and grind all this stuff down some sandpaper get it as smooth as I want and then go over the whole thing with a layer of uh, a body filler or uh, a short strand fiberglass anyway we'll work at it for another of hours in a couple days and we'll get this all nice and smooth. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a little bit about lead filling. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. And we'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye now.